Do you know how to do reverse calculation in Excel? Let me demonstrate. So here you can see we have principal amount, then we have this principal value, then we have annual interest rate that is 10%, loan tenure that is five years we have, and I just have calculated, I have just calculated this EMI just by using PMT function. Let's see how I have calculated this. By using is equal to PMT function. PMT is what? Payment function we can use to calculate the monthly EMI if you have all these scenarios. Just you need to select the rate first. So rate will be 10% divided by 12 because I want monthly rate here. Then you can simply select number of periods. NPER is number of periods. We can select this long tenure and multiply it by 12 because I want to convert this into monthly scenario. Then use comma for the PV that is present value. We can select the value that we have. And then you can close the bracket and press enter. We have this minus 5,000 that is monthly MI. If you want to convert this into positive answer, you can simply add minus in front of present value like this. And now we have the present value. And just the main thing that I want to show is what, how we can do reverse calculation. Let's assume if I want the monthly EMI here 10,000 and here I don't know what will be the loan principal amount. What we can do, we can select this monthly EMI cell. Then we can go to data tab and here we have what if analysis. We can click on goal seek. We will get this dialog box and the set cell is C7 because I want to change this particular cell and automatically we will get here 10. And the, what is the target we have? Two value will be 10,000 because I want 10,000 instead of 5,000 here. So that will be the target for me. And by changing cell will be what? I want to change this loan principal amount, but I don't know how much amount I have to add in this loan principal. So I will just use this reverse calculation option that we have in Excel that is goal seek. We can simply select or click on this arrow and select this cell where we have loan principal press enter and click on OK. So this is how you can do the back calculation or the reverse calculation. Here you can see we have 10,000 and the loan principal automatically change according to the 10,000 EMI. So this is how we can do use. This is how you can use goal seek option. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. And if you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. And if you want to learn Excel like this, you can join my paid courses, which are available on short and clear Excel app, or even you can visit my website www.shortandclearexcel.in. Thank you so much for watching.